when I was trying to find a, you know, um, a picture, if you would, that depicts leprechauns for what they really are, I came across one on the internet. And um, leprechauns, if you go by the actual stories, not, you know, the candy-coated ones, was a demonic, imp-like creature that could wreak havoc everywhere he went. And there was nothing that told me exactly what this picture was when I found it. But if I'm correct, this is a still frame from the movie entitled The Leprechaun. This is the best depiction I've ever seen of a leprechaun to this very day because it represents him as the foul, evil, demonic creature that everyone in Europe knows him to be. What are your earliest memories of working on the film Leprechaun? God, I remember I really thought I'd hit it. <laughs> Warwick <laughs> Davis from Willow. I was like, this is amazing. And uh, how did you become involved in the project originally? It was a script that I read and I just said, I'm in love with this movie. It was so beautifully written. I mean, such a layered, complicated character that also I found quite endearing and terrifying. <laughs> See that? The buckle zombie shoes? Why, I'm a leprechaun. And that's actually the whole reason I wanted to talk to you, Jen, because that's not how leprechauns are usually depicted. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but it's because of a conspiracy to trick Americans into worshipping occult gods and bringing forth the Antichrist. I was wondering, were you aware of this at the time and the risk you'd be taking by making a film like this? A hundred percent. Do you personally find it difficult to know what holidays are okay to celebrate when an elite group of Luciferian occultists are putting all this misinformation out there? If anything, it keeps me really, if anything, you feel, I think I feel I have to really focus even harder to, to sort of tune out the noise and also challenge myself so that I can rise above the toxicity of whatever's out there in the BS world. So you're a firm believer in the Illuminati then? Yeah, I mean, I know it's there. It's pretty much been the same thing now for years. I admit, I don't know what the hell that thing was, but it is not a leprechaun. I'm wondering, what would you say to people out there who still think American holidays are just innocent fun? You know, get all your information and say, yeah, life's too short rule. That falls under that. I will move on. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time, Jen. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much.